right, I'm out here in paradise today. Be here probably all day. I thought this lot was gonna be a little bit bigger, but it's kind of small. So this area is all kind of wavy. We're gonna cut that all back and make it smooth, grade it a little bit better. Hopefully we don't run into big old rocks like this. But uh, there are some stumps we'll have to remove out in that area and a couple big boulders. I see one right over there. So have to do that and just cut back the area, drill some post holes. I'm weary on the post holes because of all these rocks. So usually when I'm trying to dig a post hole, we start deal drilling into the ground and the auger bit kind of goes where it wants if it hits a rock. I'm gonna try to sift through some of this stuff here. Looks like it used to be old fence posts in concrete. Big boulder. Another big boulder. Hope I can get that out. Bunch of stumps. This whole ground is uneven. I'm not sure what he wants to do with this. Maybe take it out. This is a big stump here too.
this stump is killing me. It won't come out. I've almost got all the way around it. Still need to get over here in this area. It's red clay and dirt, and it's just holding it tight into the ground. I've been trying to dig the stump out for quite a few hours now, and it's humongous. The main problem I'm having is I can't get directly behind there. And usually a stump is in the ground at ground level, and here I've got, you know, I don't have any way to get under it on that side. And I can't go there and over here and try to dig under it this way, under this side, because I, you know, the whole, if I'm on top of it with the excavator and the whole thing decides to roll, I'm going with it. <laughs> so I'm gonna try to push it. It's, it's. I could feel a movement in it. So I'm gonna try to push it out of the way a little bit, move around the side, see if I can lift it up, see if I can break it loose and maybe wrap a chain around the backside and pull it this way or something. I'm trying to, use the excavator as like a saw. So I'll go left and right here. Sawing with the chain underneath the stump. So I've got this chain on the top trying to pull the stump over and I got that chain underneath. It's cut about a foot under. I'm having a problem getting underneath the stump because I'm, I'm afraid that I'm gonna rip some hydraulic lines off my thumb connector. See there, right there and there. They're just all these spots for them to get snagged on. So I'm just trying to different things here to get the stump out. Hopefully this works. That's acting like a uh, saw going back and forth each side, cutting in. All right, let's see what happens here.
So right now I'm going to start grading all this. I'm going to start cutting all this dirt back because it's all like this everywhere. Make it all flat. Pull all that dirt this way. I got to cut back on that retaining wall all the way. Another foot back. And then just keep smoothing this all out. Trying my best to get it even here. I had to get out of the tractor because I started feeling nauseous from all the uh, motion of back and forth and back and forth. I still got to remove that pile. There's a hump right here, but the septic lids are there. Looking better, but I moved a lot of dirt. Broke a hydraulic line on the excavator. <sighs> but dug like four, four or five stumps out. There's one there. There's a part of one here. One over there. One over there. Giant one right there. These big old boulders. These things are huge. These ones. What a mess. At least they can put a fence line up here. I can't drill the auger holes. I can't. I can't auger the holes because the excavator broke, and I only brought the attachment for the excavator. good now. All right, job's done. It's all completed. Everything's leveled out. Got the equipment all loaded up. Time to go home and uh, unload all this stuff. Load back up for a different job tomorrow. <laughs> 